brothers and sisters this thing has eaten us the reason why a woman is able to dress with something short is because of she has the spirit of lust there are some women that when you look at them they are clothed with lust not just because of what you just you don't know why but you are attracted to them you always want to be around them and not because of any christian thing good thing but you just want to keep looking at their their, their them you just want to look at their body you are lusting after their body. those people have been clothed demonically by the spirit of lust I've, I've encountered so many people with such issues. Yes. I've encountered people with that. I think close to maybe 12 or 8 persons I've encountered with that issue. That they are clothed with wherever they are going. People are just honey, admiring them, talking about them. You are, you are fine. You're looking good. Can I have your number? And I told her, I said, see, that is a spirit. Can I pray that the Lord will break that spirit away from you? Once I do that, they will no longer call you. And the moment we pray that that spirit, we break that power of that um, lustful desire, that lustful spirit over her life. She could walk on the road and nobody was always, nobody was honing and calling her. Now, that does not mean that anybody that, that if, you, if you're on the road and someone is honing and calling, it means that you have lust for desire. But one of the ways you can tell is that why is it that people are always drawn to you? Constantly drawn to you. And they're not drawn to you because of a positive thing. They're drawn to you because of a lustful thing. It means there is something that is on you that the devil has placed on you. And you, you like it because you love the attention. But you don't know that that is a way of devil drawing men to you to use you to ruin men and those men to ruin you. Praise the Lord Jesus. So these are things that we must be sensitive for in the spirit. Things that we must be sensitive in the spirit. And we always have to come before the Father to say, Lord, break this thing out of me. Even if you're not, you're not feeling it, Father, take, kill it, kill it. I, I, I don't want even it to suffer. I don't want it to grow into a tree because a seed has been planted. You don't even want it to grow into becoming a tree. You want it to be cut off, uprooted. That's why the Bible said that if you abide in me, I will abide in you. That was the book of John 15. He said, Jesus said that if you abide in me, I will abide. So keep on abiding. That means that there is a tendency that many people might choose not to abide later. So when you abide in him, keep on abiding in him. Praise the Lord Jesus. So we need to always go for what they call spiritual check by the Holy Ghost. Come before the Father. Where you are lying down or you're kneeling or you're standing, allow the Holy Ghost to search you. Let him brood you with his light. The moment that light comes on you, you begin to see filthy, filthy, little, 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 little dirty, dirty seeds that the enemy has planted in you without your, you knowing that it is already there. You think it's nothing. You look at a fellow man and you're like, well, this guy looks like a lady. He's fine, sure. Uh, you, you know, you think it's just you admiring. You call it admiring what God created. But you don't actually know that there is a, a symptom of homosexuality or gay coming inside of your life without you knowing. You look at the woman, you're like, well, uh, this is, she's not my type, but she has good shape. You see, what you are admiring is shape. You're not admiring that, oh, I love her character. I love her attitude. But you are talking about shape. And you've been doing this like three to four times in a day. You are looking at the woman, hey, she has a good shape. She has a, you might not say it, but your heart is weighing on those things. Your heart is checking those things. There is a problem. You are losing something already. There is a seed that the enemy has planted and you, you need to get that seed out. That's what I'm trying to tell you. You, you need to get that seed out because if you don't get that seed out there's going to be a problem 